Hi, Gary here from Mr. G Shave, back uh, after another week's sabbatical. Um, it's a long story, but I mean, I did say I'd probably give myself a break, and I have. Um, my back's improved all week, and I've actually done a head shave about midweek. I think it was Wednesday I did a, a head shave, not on camera, obviously. Um, but now I've picked up a cold from either my son, my daughter, or my daughter's partner. My mother's got it, I've got it. It's not COVID, we've been tested, so it's not COVID, but it's a bugger. I'm only at the beginning of it, whereas my mum, well, my mother is really struggling with it. She's about probably 48 hours ahead of me in the, with the virus, so I'm not looking forward to this weekend, I must admit. <coughs> so if I cough and I sneeze, it's not really a runny nose, but I just feel my head's all bunged up. Um, but yeah, if I cough and sneeze, I apologise now. It's it's probably it's probably going to happen throughout. So, right, what am I using today? I've had something new in the den, but first I'm going to start off with the Sterling brush. Two band, or two green band brush. I think it's a 24mm knot. <clears throat> um, with a tuxedo knot, so really nice brush this. The bowl is a Giles Shave & Co shaving bowl, beautiful bowl, it puts a stamp on the bottom, really really nice. Um, and then the new item to the den arrived, it's, it's been on quite a journey by the looks of things because I actually forgot and I'd ordered it. Um, it's the Gillette Heritage, King C Gillette Heritage razor, um, I've put it together, it's here. It's a mild razor, I, you know, from what I've seen in other reviews, but I just had to have it. I don't know why, Gillette, if you're listening to this, why don't you sell this in the UK or anywhere else other than the US? I have no idea, but <coughs> it's beautiful. I would suggest, as many others have done, if you look at the head, it looks like a Mool R89 or an Edwin Jagger DE89 head. Um, but they can look like that and they may shave differently but my suspicion is and many others have said it's a it's a mool head so i don't know where the handle's made i have suspicion it's made in the us but it could be made in china a lot of stuff is made in china so that's um the new razor to the den um i haven't bought a de razor in quite a while i have got another one on its way <coughs> um Hopefully it arrives before Christmas because that's kind of what I bought it for. <coughs> oh God, sorry about this. So anyway, I'm going to get ready for the shave and I'll be right back. Right, I'm back. Um, all lathered up. I'm going to get some water on my face um, and some pre-shave. So let's put the pre-shave on first. So how's everybody been? Have you all missed me? <laughs> I'll tell you what, I've missed doing this. Um, I think I need some more water on the face. I've missed talking to you lot as well, so. Put a bit more of this on, then rub it in. It almost creates a lather of its own. It's this pear soap as a pre-shave. I didn't mention it. I'm not thinking straight at the moment and that's not because of any pain meds. I only take my normal level of pain meds now. I'm back to just taking pain, pain medication at night so I can sleep. Not that that helps much. But yeah. Um, I'm just, I just feel f full of cold and it hasn't fully come out yet like, like with my mother. My mother is basically asleep most of the day. <coughs> <coughs> I'm really sorry about this coughing. It has nothing to do with Omicron or Delta or any of the COVID variants. It's just a cold. So here goes, all lathered up. 
I haven't told you what it is. <laughs> I may have to go back to the pup because I didn't put much soap in. I'm using Sterling Arcadia. So there you go, Sterling Arcadia. That's what I'm using today. So yeah, how's everybody been? I hope you've all had a good week and that you're all prepared for Christmas and beginning chilling down or beginning to chill down in preparation for Christmas. When do you all break up? You know, my son doesn't break up till the 24th, so um, that's a bit hard. He's a plumber, but there you go. Service industry, you're on call regardless of what day it is. <coughs> I must admit, I debated whether I was going to do this video because of this cold and the way I feel. But actually, I'm enjoying it. So, as I say, apologies for all the coughing and everything. But it's going to get worse by the looks of my mother. I just hope it doesn't set my asthma off because that really wouldn't be good. But yeah, so if I disappear for two or three weeks it's probably because i've had an asthma attack but I don't, I don't i i usually know when it's getting serious and it's nowhere near as serious i wouldn't be able to talk to you now if it was getting bad so I, I, usually i get to a point where i can't form full sentences so right so this is a gillette seven o'clock yellow super sharp edge a super sharp blade on its second use with the Gillette Heritage Razor. Now I'm expecting this to be mild and it is mild, but it's doing a good job. Oh, that feels so nice when you haven't shaved for a week. This is seven days growth I've got on me now. Six or seven. Oh, that feels so good. It had just got to that itchy stage. Yeah, so it's typical, isn't it? I mean, I get over all my back problems and then I pick up a cold. So I was determined really to do this shave. Um, and I'm glad I did now. I get to try a new razor. And I have to say this is great. This is really good. They're available in the US. I got mine off Amazon. Um, about, I think it was the equivalent of about 40 pounds shipped. 40, 45 pounds, I think it was. I'll put the price up there that I paid. I think it's $50 all shipped, all included, $50. So, brilliant. I, I'm, I'm proud to own that, uh, I really am. And I love the, uh, the box that it comes in, it's just stunning. It really makes you think vintage. You know, it comes with a little card in it and it's got a sleeve of Gillette silver blue blades um, or Gillette platinum blades. Um, really, really nice presentation. I just don't understand why Gillette don't sell this anywhere else other than in the US. I don't get it. I don't understand the marketing of it. But there we go. Maybe they're just trying to build, um, you know, sales, you know, or build need in other countries. But that razor has been out for quite a while now. It's the first time I've been able to get my hands on it. So I'm chuffed to bits that I've got it. I had forgotten I'd actually pulled the trigger on it. So when it turned up, it was a great surprise. I tell you, the scent on this Arcadia soap, absolutely great. And this cold isn't affecting my scent, so 
again another sign it's not COVID. Mind you, the new Omicron variant, uh, it doesn't affect your sense of smell or taste either. So, but as I say, I've been tested and I'm gonna do another test today, just in case, because apparently in the first day or two, if you've been tested with the lateral flow test, not the PCR test or whatever it is, um, but with the lateral flow test, if, you're t if you test yourself on the first 24, 48 hours, it doesn't show up, but after that, it's pretty accurate. So I'm testing myself again later after this shave in fact so i'll probably put the result up here which i'm sure is going to be negative <clears throat> so here we go so across the grain as always with me is straight up mm, nice feedback Really nice, smooth. You can feel the blade, but it's really smooth. So I'm enjoying that. Across the grain on this side is across. <laughs> this is giving me a great deal of pleasure, shaving all this off. You know, when you haven't shaved for like seven days, you've done off. <coughs> I think it affects your mental health. Unless you're growing a beard, you know, you feel really unclean. But I just wanted to, you know, because I do all these videos, I do tend to leave shaving to every other day or every other, you know, maybe three days. And when I'm ill, <coughs> <coughs> like now um, you just don't feel like it but now I've actually started and I'm talking to camera I'm enjoying this it's really good not looking forward to the editing bit but I'm gonna try and keep it fairly simple what did you think of my last video by the way where I used another camera to that was pointing straight down into the bowl um, did you like that or did you even notice it? I didn't get any comments about it um, in my last video. Um, is it something that you like or do you feel it distracts from the shave? I mean, it does add a lot of work to the editing process because you've got to line up two sets of audio. The images all have to line up. So everything, when you hear me rattle, you know, clean the blade, clean the razor you can hear it in you know in the correct timeline so it's a bit more effort it took me about another hour just to get all of that in line and cut to size and so on and so forth but you know tell me what you think if you really think it benefits my videos I'll do it. I'll, I'll continue doing it. But at the moment, I'm, I, I, don't, I don't have the energy to do it now. So here we go. Against the grain. I'm really impressed with this razor. It does feel like a DE89. Or an R89 from Moore. It's certainly in that ballpark. This blade goes really well with it, certainly on its second use. Fantastic. And what can you say about sterling? You just can't go wrong with sterling soap. Oh yeah, I know what I was going to tell you. When I did shave my head midweek, I used that Mr. Hobbs brushless cream again. And wow, it was a great shave. 
I mean, it was still, it was very awkward trying to see where you shaved and where you hadn't after the, I mean, what, yeah, the first pass you can see all the hair that was there. But after that, it was a bit more difficult to see where you shaved and where you hadn't shaved. But the post-shave skin feel, as I've said about it, that when I used it on my face, best post-shave skin feel I've had. I mean, you can literally, once you've finished your third pass and pick up pass, you can stop there. You don't need to go any, you don't need to add any balm or anything else. You could just stop because the skin feel you get at that point from that cream was like I get once I've gone through the whole post-shave routine. But each to their own. It's not for me because I enjoy the whole process. But I did, thought, you know, I thought, well, I'll give it a go on um, on my head and see if I enjoy that. And I do enjoy it, but I, I still miss the brush, you know, get building the lather and slapping it on. And, and a brushless cream just doesn't work for me. Um, I much prefer using a brush and proper soap. <clears throat> but yeah, other than that, you know, excellent stuff. It's just a shame they don't make the soap so that it lathers up. It's got some great ingredients in it. But this, I prefer this by a mile. Just because I'm lathering it on my face, I'm painting it on. Um, I'm doing a third pass, but I'm not. I've already done my third pass, so I'm doing my pickup pass. Again, apologies, I'm not thinking straight. My head is a bit cloudy at the moment. But this feels great. So, no regrets doing this. I was dreading it. I was procrastinating a lot about starting this video. But in the end, I'm thoroughly enjoying this. That's great. I was a bit worried with seven days growth at this wasn't going to handle it, but it has. It's, it's done a fantastic job. And it's BBS is a little bit there. I might just pick that up. I don't need any more lather. There you go. BBS. Perfect. So I'm going to do my usual thing. I'm going to clean up and I'll be right back. Right, I'm back. Post shave time. Cold rinse. Oh. oh, yeah. I feel a bit more human again now. You know how you get, you, you know, when you're not well and you just don't have motivation to do anything. But trust me, if you have, if you're feeling as, like you've got a cold coming or you're, you've got a cold, shower and a shave will make you feel so much better. Oh, wow. Didn't think it would make that much difference. Yes, I've been coughing and it's not that bad, the cough. Um, one thing I forgot to do was put the razor back together. But yeah, so this razor's really surprised me in, in terms of, it, I've thoroughly enjoyed using this razor. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed using it. Right, post shave. 
Um, let's put some alum on. That means I need water. Run some water over the alum and let's see what feedback we get. Nothing so far, a little bit down here where I did my pickups, about a one out of ten. Same on the other side. Nothing really, no feedback at all. So perfect. Absolutely perfect. I'm just going to wipe that straight off again because it's done its job. Right, my trusty boots, tea tree and witch hazel, face tonic, basically just cleans and sterilizes, well, whether it sterilizes, but it certainly helps with the healing. Because when you shave, whether you're shaving with a cartridge razor or shaving with, um, a straight razor or a DE or an SE you're going to leave little micro cuts on your face that you can, there's no blood they're just tiny tiny you'd need you could you'd, you'd see them under a microscope sort of thing but this just keeps them clean and helps them heal so aftershave sterling arcadia this is a bit of a sterling shade today what with a brush the soap and the balm and the aftershave. Oh, that's stunning. Absolutely great. Wow. No, well, a little bit of burn. One or two out of ten, nothing much. So that was a great shave. As I say, I thought the Gillette Heritage was going to struggle, but it didn't. I mean, yeah, you, it was a mild razor, so you had to do multiple strokes, but it's given me a beautiful shave. Fantastic BBS result. So as I said, the balm, Sterling Arcadia. Let's get some of that. Actually, I'll shake it because it hasn't been used in a while. So just using that much. Rub it between the hands straight on and that's great probably used a bit too much balm here I did <laughs> I look like I do when I put really thick suntan lotion on oh, just rub it in a bit but basically that ladies and gentlemen is the end of the shave I thoroughly enjoyed it sorry I haven't been my usual self I just uh, um, I've just not got a lot of energy at the moment but I did thoroughly in <coughs> thoroughly enjoy the shave um, and it's it's woken me up a bit it's made me feel a lot better so that's it from me I will now be back I will be back on Wednesday um, doing a straight razor shave so uh, I'm not sure what razor I've got quite a few new additions to the den not sure which I'm going to use, but you'll see on the day. So I will be back on Wednesday for a straight razor shave, back to usual routine. Uh, and if anybody's got any requests, I'll do them on Mondays. But if I have no requests, then I, I'm, I won't do a Monday shave. And I'm probably not going to do a request video now until the new year. So there we go. Right, I'll see you next Wednesday. It's bye-bye from me. It's bye-bye from the fantastic Gillette Heritage Razor. I recommend it to anyone who wants to buy it. Um, comes in this beautiful box. Fantastic. Great. Gillette, you need to sell it in the UK and Europe because you'll sell out. Right then. Bye-bye for now.